Oh, Rose. Thou art sick. Invisible one that flies in the night. And the howling storm has found out thy bed of crimson joy. And his dark secret love. Does thy life destroy thy life destroys thy life thy life thy life I wander through each chartered street, near where the charge tames this flow. And marking every weakness, every face I meet, marks of weakness, marks of woe, 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 marks of marks of woe, marks of woe, marks of 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 every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every band, the mind forged manacles. Mind forge manic, the 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 mind forge manic. Look how the chimney sweepers cry, every black in the church pall. And the hapless soldier's sigh runs in blood down palace walls, 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 down palace walls. Most from midnight streets I hear how the youthful harlot skirts blast the newborn infant's fear and blights with plagues the marriage hers, the marriage hers, marriage hers, marriage hers, marriage hers, marriage hers. Five foot two, and he's six feet four. And he fights with missiles and with spears. He's all of 31, and he's only 17. He's only 17. He's been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a Catholic, a Hindu, an atheist, a Jain, a Buddhist, and a Baptist and Jew. And he knows he shouldn't kill. And he knows he always will kill. You for me, my friend. And me for you. fighting for Canada, and he's fighting for France, and he's fighting for the USA, and he's fighting for the Russians, and he's fighting for Japan, and he thinks he'll put an end to war this way. And he's fighting for democracy, and he's fighting for the Reds, and he says it's for the peace of all. He's the one who must decide who's to live and who's to die. And he never sees the writing on the wall. And he never sees the writing. He never sees the writing. Never. Without him, how could Hitler have condemned him at the cow? 
Without him, Caesar would have stood alone. He's the one who gives his body as the weapon of war. And without him, all this killing can't go on. And he never sees the right. He never sees the right. He's the universal soldier, and he really is to blame. His orders come far away, no more. They come from him. And you, and me, and brothers, can't you see? This is not the way we put an end to war. This is not the way we put an end to war. He never sees the writing. Never sees the writing, never sees the writing, never sees the writing, never sees the writing.